This morning, I'm going to invite Peter down again to answer some questions at the table with us. Our questions this morning were posed by Sally Dawson, who is seven, and Allie Gallagher, who is eight, and Lillian Francisco, who is 14. So we have a variety, uh, and they pose some really good questions, but I had to narrow it down to four. So are you ready? Thank you all. Can't wait. <laughs> Number one, what is a Levite? Ah, good question. So Levites are those that come from the line of Levi. And if you were look at the third book of the Bible, Leviticus, um, there's not a whole lot in there that talk about the Levites because the book talks about uh, people as a whole, the whole people of God. Um, but Le- the Levites are those who come from um, the line of, uh, of a predecessor. And, and Levites were known to be um, priestly. And so the term Levite is a priestly term. Um, and early on in, in civilization, the Levites were the priests. And so that doesn't mean that all Levites became priests, but early on, that's who they were. Gotcha. Number two, why do you think the first two men did not stop to help? Well, um, so two comments on that. One, um, Jesus never tells us why. Jesus doesn't focus on why they don't stop. Um, But the second, since you asked why I think, um, I think they were distracted. I think they were fearful of um, needing to get to to their next place, needing to get to uh, something they needed to tend to. They were fearful of the reputation of what it might mean for them to stop and and help somebody else. Uh, So I think they were distracted is why I think they didn't stop and help. Makes sense. Number three, what can we personally do to be good Samaritans? Great question. And my sermon today is going to talk a lot about that as we talk about being rooted in relationship. Um, And as I conclude my sermon, I'm going to talk about lifting your head up and being aware of other people um, around you, all people around you, um, being kind, um, being loving, uh, continuing to um, pay attention and, and, and care for others, um, especially those that are treated unfairly or are cast aside. Um, and so we, we should pay attention to everybody. We want to be seen as individuals, and so we would, uh, it's, it's God's call for us to also see other people. And last but not least, What do you think the teacher of the law, as it says in the scripture, what do you think the teacher would choose to do if he were in the story? Ooh, if he followed the pattern of lots of the other lawyers, the Pharisees, Sadducees, um, if he followed that pattern and that reputation, he would have walked on by. Um, I think he might have thought this would be a good thing to do, but like the priest, like the Levite, he would have been distracted concerned about reputation, what that would have meant. Um, But saying that, I'm cautious to also be aware that all stereotypes are not universal. They don't fit everybody. Um, So, you know, I I don't know. what I hope that he would have done the right thing, particularly after just talking with Jesus about what that right thing is. And I think that's what we're called to do, is do the right thing, that what we know God calling us to do. Sally, Allie, Lillian, great questions. Thank you.